a situation from a past that wasn't very appealing and it's something that I want to make sure my kids never have to go through. They don't never have to go hungry. They don't never have to be home to sleep in a park, sleep in a car, you know what I'm saying? Never have to worry about being in juvenile hall, being locked up. I want them to never have to want for anything. I feel like, you know, and I don't compare myself to anybody, but from other people's opinion, they call it, I'm similar to Tyson, oh, you know, next Mike Tyson. My, for me, Mike Tyson is the greatest fighter, one of the greatest fighters that ever lived, my favorite fighter. But, you know, I got that style. I'm not like sort of the new generation where everybody kind of plays safe, like, you want to go get it, let's go get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I bring that griminess to the ring. That, that aggression and not a lot of people is, is really doing that nowadays, you know. The skill set plus on top of with the marketability and, and, and the personality, man, I, I believe I got the whole package and I can definitely be the next American heavyweight champion in the world. Wait, chill. Let's go work. <laughs> We're about to bring back that, that true era. That Marvin Hagler, that Mike Tyson, that Tommy Hearns, that nasty, grimy type fight. Way, he's, he's, he's not doing enough for us, is he? He's not, no. He's getting leg kicked a lot. Big over there! 